Hook Life Movement, HLMedia.com. You hear the noise in the background. You hear the industry, mixer, levels management, DJ and all, or the ones and twos, or the Serato, or whatever you prefer. We got your man Orlando Wharton here. And all. Let them know what the deal is and what you did. And one of the main artists you brought out there, Mr. Fanny Wild Pine, kind of blow it up. But you tell the story. Just out here really working, just trying to help these young guys have an opportunity to have them just stay free. That's really all I'm trying to do out here. We got a lot of young guys creating good stuff, creating some magic, and I just try to facilitate them so they can have a better way to get it out there to the people. I've been in this game like 12 years. I've been in Atlantic for like a year. So you know it's been going pretty good. How'd you get over there now? I was 10 years just grinding, grinding artists out and managing artists and just learning all facets of the business. And a record label, a friend of mine, Salim, shout out to Salim. I went to work with Salim at 300 and he just taught me how to research artists and patterns and trends and I just picked up on it and I just started putting those formulas together and just signing artists and working on artists. Fetty Watt was the first real big artist I signed that really had an impact on the culture. I went to go see my man Trey Pizzi and I just seen him and I thought he was a star. I just brought it to the label every day till they signed him. Was it, was it a hassle that, or was it? That's, that's, it took like seven months for me to sign that nigga, man. Wow. With a, with a hot record. Then he had all the hits. It still took me like seven months to sign that man. I'm just out here seeing what people have to add to the culture. And, and, and I'm never looking for no next big artist. You never know what that's going to happen. That's going to happen naturally. How do you feel about the climate of hip-hop? In terms of you searching for it, how do I feel about it? A couple people who really... Push the envelope, and then you got a couple people who still trying to rap like it's 30 years ago. <laughs> so it's hard. It's, it's hard when you got you don't have everybody trying to push the envelope. You had everybody trying to do different shit and being creative, then we have a lot more, a lot more stuff out. But you have the same people doing the same shit, and it's more repetitions. And that's what I'm trying to change. Like the same five people who can't make the same songs and have eight songs each on the radio. That's that's ridiculous. And there's other people out there that we gotta spread it around. It's a art form. You don't wanna see the same paintings all day hanging on the wall. It's a different one. I'm feeling everybody that's working. I don't like saying no name. I'm feeling everybody that's working. If you work it, you work hard, you burn it, you Music is hard. That ain't about life or not. That's a case of opinion then. This is true. I'm just fucking with everybody that's working. Where can catch find you at now on the social network and on the online? The streets. And if you go hard, I'll find you. I'm supposed to be there, you're supposed to be there, and you know where the spots so. are. I'm just out here looking for the young men who are broken and who want to finish the food chain. Finish the heart for them. How you feeling in this industry mixing? I'm feeling this shit, man. You got niggas driving. Niggas drove that hit from Rhode Island, from fucking. Got a nigga from South Carolina, from North Carolina. This is crazy. But you, you got young people who don't even listen to this shit. And I give them advice. If I can't help them, I'll give them good advice that can help them do something. You sound like you just a man that's down to earth, looking for cats out here in front of the airways and some of this stuff. I can't rap, I can't sing, man. I'm, I'm blessed that people that rap and can't sing even fuck with me, man. Big D, Orlando Boy. Big D, Orlando you know, we the hood, hood, and the team of hood shit. We in Brooklyn, so you know it's hood, and we get it in. <laughs> Once you get them to sign that paper, you can be that next big thing. This is that man you might want to see. Look like me, I'm...